What's good everyone, welcome to this tutorial today about how to enable and customize the quick menu in Procreate. The quick menu is a very powerful tool which is gonna to allow you to access, but also customize to be able to use simple yet effective controls within Procreate. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to set that up, how to customize them, and I think you'll agree it's pretty game changing. Let's not waste any time and jump straight in. Step one, enabling the quick menu. First of all, we definitely need to open up Procreate. That is definitely the first thing we need to do. But once we're in there, let's go into an artwork. I've got one here all ready to go. From here, let's tap on the wrench icon or the actions tab on the top left of the screen. Next, we're gonna go to preferences. And then we're gonna go down here to gesture controls. This is exactly where we wanna be. Let's have a look down the left-hand side of the screen and we can see there is quick menu. And then we have a few options that we're gonna have a look at now. From here, this is basically the way we're going to get quick menu to pop up. Have a look through this. Everyone does something different when it comes to it. I personally like the second option here. A finger touch will invoke quick menu. This is perfect because I don't draw with my finger. I draw with my Apple Pencil. So this way, when I'm touching the screen, it's gonna invoke that quick menu. Perfect. Once we've done that, let's hit done. Close that actions tab and we're ready to go. Let's test it out. See what happens when I touch my finger on the screen and perfect. We have our quick menu at the moment. It's got a few things set up. I have open layers panel, liquify, solo visibility, reference, actual size, and layer opacity. Best thing about Procreate, we can customize all of these. So let's have a look at that now. Luckily, this is super simple. All we have to do is press and hold on one of the actions, and we're gonna be given a massive list of things to choose from. This is where you can get really inventive with it. Make sure everything you need is a finger touch away. So let's have a look through this list. Let's go all the way to the top. Starts right out at 2D visibility, actual size, we can add text, clear layer, clipboard, clone, copy. But this one, I think it might be good to have a copy and paste in our quick menu screen. So let's choose copy. And then what I suggest is if you are gonna do a copy, put a paste in as well, but put it right next to or below that copy. So let's do the same thing below that. And let's go all the way down to P and we'll go paste. So now we have a copy and paste option. This is perfect. Whenever we tap on that, it's gonna do those actions. Let's have a look at one more before we move on. Let's long tap here on liquify and see what else we can choose from. I mean, there is a lot here. You could really spend a lot of time in this. Let's choose select brush. This is an interesting one. And you can actually have specific brushes set up. This is perfect. So I'm gonna have my sketching brush my trusty 6B, perfect. Now this one here, I'll do one more. Select brush and let's choose the technical pencil, perfect. So now when I tap on these, it's gonna automatically change those brushes. This is gonna be perfect, gonna help me move fast and create some awesome pieces of art. Another fun fact, you can actually have presets in these quick menus as well. Uh, we've got our normal layout here, but the middle one here, if we press on that, it's gonna give us options and we can create new uh, layouts if we like. So if I tap on layers here, you can see some of the options change. If I go back to arrays, the options change again. This is gonna allow you to have multiple quick menus set up, maybe one for coloring, one for outlining, whatever it is, it's a great way to customize. And that's gonna be it. A very basic breakdown of what quick menus are. I highly suggest you look into this and start using them. I remember when I started using them, it really did help my digital art progress at a very quick rate because I didn't have to wonder where everything was and I could have it at a finger touch. As always, a like and subscribe will really help me grow my channel and bring you this content each and every week. So until the next video, I'll catch you then.